Just thoughts on Tennessee? Uh, really physical, hard playing, competitive team, better than their record indicates. And that's not coach speak. I mean, if you guys go look at their, I'm sure you have their season box score and their, their schedule and their outcomes. They've played uh, really, really good teams very competitively. Could have beat Oregon, could have beat North Carolina. Not surprising um, with, a, with a Rick Barnes coach team. Um, they'll be very prepared. Uh, I like their team speed, their depth, play 11 guys, double figure minutes. Dangerous offensively, um, despite being so-called undersized. Uh, I'm not sure Grant Williams is 6'5". There's no way that guy's 6'5". With the production that, uh, that he's given, <laughs> he's, uh, he's been amazing as a freshman. And Robert Hubbs is one of the most underappreciated guys in our league, in my opinion. I think they're very good. You, you talked about buy-in from your players last year. What, what do you think in terms of fan buy-in? Do you feel like the fans are buying more into the program this year and you're going to have a sellout tomorrow? I know the stadium yeah. is excited people, but the team is too. Yeah, I think the renovation really helps um, with our fan base, uh, with with excitement and pride, and um, and deservingly so. You know, um, This has uh, been a long time coming, of course. And, um, I think it obviously has a lot to do with why we're sold out tomorrow. Uh, the arena, um, but the product too, right? You know, they, I think fans have always been bought in here. I, how, how, how are you not bought into the last twenty years around here uh, in terms of basketball? I, I was I was pleasantly pleased with with last year. You know, Coach Donovan taking off and and um, you know a, a new a new brand to a certain extent. Although we tried to copy as much as we could. Um, I, I thought, you know, with our with our with the Rowdies being the, the national student section of the year, winning that award, and, and with a lot of the uh, the outcomes that we had, I was I was pleasantly pleased with year one. So this is this is obviously another level, uh, and it's um, it's a big factor for us. It's very very helpful, of course, giving us extra advantage at home. Mike, uh, I know some players are, are different from last year, but do you take anything, or do you look back at the tape? from what happened in Knoxville last year in terms of style of play or things that you can adjust to? Yeah, definitely. The physicality. We have to match their physicality. I thought that um, they, they punched us in the mouth at the tip and, and then punched us again and, and punched us four or five times before we even responded. Um, I, don't, I don't know why it caught us off guard last year. Uh, it shouldn't have. Um, they were the tougher team. Um, they were more prepared, of course, um, in that game. and. So just going into this one, we've we've got to understand we've already uh, had communication with our guys that uh, with this this Tennessee team, despite uh, what people like to say about them being undersized, they're they're as good offensively and defensively in the paint as most teams in our league, uh, and as a lot of teams nationally. It, it's going to be a dogfight. It, it's they're, they're going to they're going to give us aggressive wall ups defensively. Really physical blockouts. They're going to be crashing the offensive glass. Uh, the physical on the perimeter as well. Again, good team speed. Um, so in, in that regard, although it's somewhat of a different team, it's it's, it's again it's a Rick Barnes coach team. They're, they're going to be really sound. They're going to really defend, really rebound, and move that thing offensively. Share it. Run good stuff. Cut hard. It's it's, it's what we've seen on, on film at least. That's our opinion. What's the best way to deal with a, a wide body power forward like Williams, like a guy that's kind of short and compact like that? Yeah, uh, limit his touch. He's got great length too, um, in my opinion. I haven't seen him in person, but for him to give Moses Kingsley um, and, and Tyler Davis the problems that he gave them even defensively, I, I think speaks to his, his girth and, and his length and, and his ability to get off the floor too. He's a good athlete. Um, I, limiting his touches, obviously, Using our feet and, and not allowing uh, the touches to be as, as deep as, as he liked them, of course. Blocking out is huge for us in this game. Uh, but he also can put the ball on the floor a little bit. He can shoot a little bit. And, and they've got several guys that can do that. Uh, and then again, Robert Hubbs is, uh, he can become a, a big time mismatch because sometimes he's, he's one of the perimeter guys, yet he's one of the best post up guys, one of the best back to the basket guys in our league, in, in my opinion. Uh, so when guards are on him, we've got to do a really good job defending in the post, which our guards aren't used to doing on a consistent basis. Obviously, Tennessee's a pretty physical, aggressive team. So how much of an emphasis has been on free throw shooting and practices this week? Uh, big emphasis. Yeah, we talked about that for a couple reasons. Uh, one is uh, we feel like potentially both teams could end up fouling a lot. It's going to be a very aggressive game. Uh, and we're coming off a game in which we didn't shoot very well at the foul line. So 
uh, with two goals in this facility, it's a little bit different than in, in the practice facility across the street where we get less reps out the foul line. We're, we're going to try to be creative and uh, try to try to get in here and encourage guys to stay up to practice a little bit individually and, and get more reps to follow on. Coach, did you turn what happened at the end of last game into a teaching point moving forward in the sense of you, if you let these leads go further and further down against a more skilled team, you're going to end up losing these games? Yeah, definitely. Immediately addressed the guys before we even talked um, about that. And they knew it was coming. With, with us being a little bit older, a little bit more mature, a little bit more bought in, I think, um, our guys have actually talked about that before we even stepped into the locker room. We finish every game with a, with a short staff meeting before we address our team and collect our thoughts and things like that. So when we walked in, that's actually what some of our leaders were talking about. And we're all striving for more leadership, and, and you don't want that to happen again. But uh, credit Ole Miss, they, they never go away, and they, they always find ways to make it interesting. Um, I thought other than the midway through the second half stretch and the stretch at the end of the game, in looking at the film, we were, we were very good defensively. How do, how do you